Hello, I'm Hannah Martin from Talented Ladies Club and this is a video you need to watch if you're not charging enough. Too many entrepreneurs and freelancers are undercharging for their products and services. And in this video, I'm gonna share two really important tips that can help you charge your worth. But first, I need to explain why it's so important that you stop undercharging. Um, most importantly of all, of course, if you're not charging enough, you're not going to earn enough money for what you do, which means that it's going to be harder to sustain this as a business. You're going to become resentful of working and earning too little money. And there's every chance that your business or freelance career will fail if you're not charging appropriately. But just as importantly, if you charge cheap prices, you'll attract cheap clients. You will attract the kind of clients that are just looking for a bargain. They won't really value what you offer and will often be more picky about the work or the services or products that you produce. They'll want more of your time, be less thankful. And the clients that you really want to work for, the clients that love what you do or pay appropriately for high quality products and services, would put off from buying from you because they may assume that if you're charging cheap prices, that you are not high quality. So that's why it's so important that you do charge the right amount for what you do. But I know, especially as a woman, this can sometimes be difficult, especially if someone asks you how much something costs, because we all like to be liked. And it can be really hard to say our price and watch someone's reaction to it. We're all a bit fearful that we're going to tell someone how much we cost, our services or products cost, and they're going to flinch, they're going to be go quiet, or they're going to even actually say, well, that's a bit much, isn't it? And then we'll feel like um, maybe they don't like us, or maybe that actually we're not really worth what we're trying to sell for. So as a result, it's more tempting to mentally quickly discount your price when someone asks you and come out with a cost that is actually below what you should be charging. So as I said, I've got two tips to help you avoid these situations, make sure you charge what you're actually worth. The first one is one that I often advise to freelancers, and that is never be pushed into telling someone your price, either face to face or over the phone. And often clients will try and do this because they want to have some kind of reassurance, they're impatient and upfront, they want to know, even just a ballpark figure, how much you might cost. But in, in pressurising you to do this, there is a risk, as I said, that you are going to either uh, charge too little and tell them quite a low price because you want to please them and you want them, you want to remain viable in their eyes, you don't want them to discount you right now and, and put you out of the, the consideration. But also, you haven't really got a scope of work, so you may just say a price that you think uh, it might be without looking properly at the full amount of work. And the danger here is if you say a low price and then you look at the work and actually realise it's more involved than you thought and you come back with a higher price, they've already got an expectation. The client already thinks that you're going to charge something else. And when you come back with a higher price, you are less likely to get the work. So what I, what I tend to recommend here is, is if you're a freelancer and especially if you don't know the full scope of work, refuse politely to give someone a price on the phone or in a meeting and just say that you want to look properly at the work and go away and give them a proper price and don't let them draw you even into this ballpark thing or saying oh it might be a thousand pounds or it might be a hundred pounds just say that you want to give them an accurate idea and even if you it's a ballpark at this stage you really want to think about it properly before you come back to them then think really carefully about your email when you're emailing it to them and make sure before you just give them a price that you, inc you include in there everything that price covers so that you are outlining exactly what they're going to get for that money and then tell them how much that is. Uh, don't put anything words in it like sorry and it's going to cost this. Just, st just state what you're going to do and state your price with confidence. And remember, there are going to be people out there who aren't your ideal client or aren't your ideal customer, and that's absolutely fine. And if your price puts off those people, then that is absolutely okay. It should do, because you do not want to attract clients that 
aren't able to or aren't willing to pay what you're worth. If you do fill your time with those people, you will not have the time to attract other clients who really will pay what you're worth. And cheap clients will go and tell their friends if they really like what you do and you'll get more of the same and you'll fill even more of your time up with these cheap clients. Do have the confidence to, to charge what you're worth and attract the right clients. Now, the second piece of advice I have for you is in a face-to-face -face meeting. So you might be in a position sometimes when you absolutely do want to or do have to tell someone how much you are going to charge. And this advice comes from Jess Lorimer that she gave in a webinar um, on our site. And this is, when you tell someone a price, you always start with your highest price. Now, you may have a number of different packages, a number of different options or services or products. But always start with the highest price product that is appropriate for this client or this situation. Then when you say your price, you say nothing afterwards. And the temptation often is when we tell someone how much we're going to charge, we either choose a lower price or we say the price and then we very quickly fill the space afterwards because we want to justify what we've just told them. So you might say, it's a thousand pounds, but you get loads for that. And I'm gonna throw in this for free and I can give you discount of 50% if you really want and please buy it. And what you're doing there is you're not giving your client or customer time to process that price and time to think. And you're also putting doubts in their head as soon as you say, that, say the, the price. You're not putting the price out with confidence. You're not saying, here's what I'm worth, here's what I charge, you can take it or leave it. You are filling that gap with nervousness and discounts and justification that helps the client think actually that maybe that price isn't really what you're worth. And let's say you put that price out there, you pause, and then your client or customer returns with, it's a bit more than I was hoping to pay, or I'm not really sure that's right for me at the moment as a kind of excuse, maybe because it's not right for them or they can't afford it. Then you can come back and say, that's okay. If you were interested, I also have, and then you give them another product or service and that price, which is lower. And again, you pause afterwards. And again, if they don't like that, or they don't think that's right for them. And if you have another alternative product, you can come with that. The point is that each time you have the confidence to state your price, and then you let the person process it and you let them come back to you with their feedback on it, whether they want to buy it, whether it's not right for them, or whether it's too much for them. But you let them let you know. You don't second guess that it's going to be too much for them. You don't second guess it's going to be too expensive and already undercut yourself when in fact that person may have been more than willing to pay that price. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do follow these two pieces of advice because I know they work and I really do want to make sure that you are charging the appropriate price for what you do, that you're attracting the right customers and you love what you do because you're earning enough money from it. As always, please do join our Facebook group, the TLC Business Club, if you're a freelancer or business owner and you'll find lots more advice and tips in that. Thank you very much.